So in my live stream the other day, I was asked a question by a subscriber. He asked me, what are some good clones to wear during the summer? He, um, I said, hey, why don't I just do a video for you? I said, I don't own a lot of clones, but with that said, I do have enough for the summertime. He told me to also include one that would be good for date night. Um, that is a clone as well. Uh, again, on my channel, I'm not huge on clones, but I'll let you guys know in that in a minute. So today we're doing five amazing clones that you can wear in the summer, both day and night. And so without further ado, let's get it. What's going on, my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy, you guys all know that. Just you know the deal like subscribe put me on the algorithm so that we can get straight into this list i don't remember who asked me but somebody asked me if i could do a video of five fragrances that are uh, well i kind of came up with the five but fragrances that are clones that are great for the summer um and i said yeah absolutely he also told me to include one or two that are going to be for the evening so i did that i am going to give you guys three great clones that are for the summer again i don't own many clones um I test out what I test out and then I'll buy a few that you guys asked me to. But for the most part, my feeling on clones are this. There are way too many that are going on right now. There's lawsuits and stuff like that, but there is clones of clones. There's 50 clones of Aventus. There's 50 clones of this and that and this. People are buying clones of designer fragrances, which I find ridiculous because you can find most designer fragrances under $100. Um, and ever, I've tried about 200 to 250 clones. And at this point in time, I've probably found maybe five that are better than the original thing. And I'm talking about better. I don't care about performance. I've never cared about performance. So if that's, you're going to be the argument, I don't care because I'll spray on clothes. If I get four hours or two hours out of a fragrance, I don't care. I'll spray it on my clothes. And if not, I'll respray it. I'll carry a travel atomizer with me. So to me, that's not a good argument because I've always found the quality is better with m almost all fragrances that these things are cloning. Um, there's a few exceptions. And so I just don't see the reason for it. Um, I like to buy clones of discontinued fragrances, clones of fragrances that are way out of my price range. I, do, I will only spend $250 on a fragrance. I will not spend over that. That is my rule. I will wait till they come on discounters, even if it's two years. That's just the way that I do things. New releases, anything, I will not buy it over 250. So any fragrance over that, I will try a clone of it. Um, that's my way of doing things. So anyway, getting into it now, we're talking about five fragrances good for the summer, three day, two night. So the first one that I wanted to talk about on my list today is going to be the only decant from the list. So I wanted to get it out of the way. I got this from Neeb a few months ago. And then, honestly, this is the first time I'm trying it. It is from the House of Fragrance World. It is a clone of Roja Parfums Elysium Parfum Cologne. And this is Imperium, again, by Fragrance World. So again, it is not as high quality as Roja. It is doesn't smell as good as Roja but it's still for what it does for the price. It is great summer clone fragrance for sure. Uh, this is the style of fragrance that I would pick up because if I didn't own Elysium, I would, I would probably go for this first, but I already own Elysium. So it's kind of a moot point. I'm going to stick with the decant when it's gone, it's gone. Imperium for those who do not own Elysium is a great clone of it. Um, that gets it about 80% correct. Um, so in the opening again, I'm not talking about the quality. I'm talking about the smell in general. So in the opening, you get this nice, super fresh, clean citrus. Citrus medley, just like I always say, Elysium Parfum Cologne is. It's really nice. It's, it has a musky undertone and this like aromatic fougere. So it's kind of like a clean, fresh citrus medley mixed together with an aromatic fougere and musk undertone. As you work your way into the dry down, the difference between this one and what you get in um, the Elysium Parfum Cologne is this one, the lab denim in it comes across a bit leathery, and then you get more of this vanilla benzoin softness in the dry down. Um, this one lasts about an hour more than what you get with the other Elysium because it has those warmer, heavier benzoin and vanilla notes that actually are more prominent. Um, and it, they feel a little bit more syrupy than what you get with the Elysium, which is again, 
higher quality raw materials, stuff like that. But Imperium is still a really good daytime summer fragrance. If you're looking for something that gets Elysium pretty good, um, has a little bit of a twist to it, Imperium by Fragrance World is a great job. And I think you could find it around 50 bucks or so, a little bit less. And the bottle looks very similar to Elysium. I'm surprised they're, they're not sued at this point in time. But yeah, going into the next one, moving from a daytime to a nighttime. Uh, this is going to be one that you can wear all year round because it's a staple in the designer community. And yes, uh, the, I don't like to get clones of designer fragrances, usually. This one I did buy after sampling because it does that designer with a twist. And it makes me really excited to try the AM. But this is Afnan's 9 PM. And so, yes, it's not necessarily a summer fragrance but it is a nighttime date night fragrance. And you can wear it all year round because it has this bergamot style freshness mixed with the lavender that's in here. But it is a clone of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramol, if you guys didn't already know that. It's an off non 9 p.m. So overall, this fragrance is fantastic. It literally is just Ultramol, but fresher. Um, and it lasts the exact same amount, seven to eight hours. It is a nighttime, it is fruity, it's woody, and it is just overall, just really nice. You get to the dry down, after that lavender and that um, opening with the fruitiness starts to dissipate and go more into the background. They don't have pear that's in this. They mix together apple and bergamot, which creates that pear-like feeling that you get from Ultramol. Uh, but if you do want that pear from Ultramol, you're not gonna really get it here. That's where the freshness comes in is because that bergamot really provides a nice mixture with the lavender and with the apple to provide more of a freshness and more of this like little bit of a zing to it. And so that's why I like to wear this at night uh, during the summer or pretty much all year round is because it does have that warmth of this vanilla tonka mixture in the dry down but overall it has a freshness to it that you don't get with Ultramol. So if you want Ultramol for the summer, 9 p.m. is great and it's around 20 bucks. So that is one as well. It is starting to thunder like that shit outside right now. So anyway, going into another one. This is gonna be in any time, but I like this more probably closer to a nighttime, but you can wear this anytime. It is kind of like a mixture between Hachivat by Nishane and Creed's Aventus, if you mix them together and had a black currant baby. Um, like, just, it is a black currant bomb. So this is, by Afnan, is supremacy not only intense. Um, so, it is super polarizing. It is a polarizing scent. If you're not one of those people that like fragrances that push out, like I usually don't, but my wife is like obsessed with this fragrance, so I wear it. It is a clone of Nishane and Creed Event is kind of mixed together with a black currant mixture all the way around. And make no make no assumptions, this is a black currant bomb at its core for the first like two to three hours. It is pushing out and it is pushing out heavy. It has that oak moss in there. It has that effervescent woods and ambroxan-ish style Creed Aventus. Um, and then the oak moss from like the Hachivat, but not as prominent. Um, it's really nice. It's fruity, it's woody, it is grown up, it is mature. It is pretty much what you're looking for for an all season fragrance that can be worn in a lot of different situations. But again, it's more of, for me, an undersprayer. I like to spray it twice because it does the job for me. It's going to push out, and it's going to push out for a long-ass time. It's like 8 to 10 hours, easy. Um, but Supremacy, not only intense, for me, out of the Aventus, the Hachivas, this is actually my favorite because it does take the best of all of those fragrances, adds in a shit ton of black currant, pushes it out, and then you get a lot of performance from it. So if you want something like that, that does its own thing on that style of DNA, if you like black Courant, then you're gonna love this. Supremacy, not only intense, again, it's gonna be more of a night out fragrance, which is what I had there, but you can also wear it during the day. You can also wear it to work only if you underspray it though, because people are not gonna wanna smell you across the room. 
Uh, it does, when you get to the dry down, that oak moss and woods and ambergris really come out and push forward. But in the opening is really where that black currant bomb is real prominent. As you get to the dry down, it's more an undertone nuance, but overall, really, really good. Now, going into the last two, both of them are going to be freshies. One new to my collection, one old to my collection. I'm going to start with the newest one. So this one is about 14 bucks. I only put it in my cart the one time because a lot of people talked about it and I needed to get free shipping. Um, but this one is Kaed Alfersan. I tried to use the accent, pretty much failed probably. But with that said, I believe this is Latafa. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But <clears throat> the bottle is hefty glass, the cap's cheap. It does have a nice, uh, what's it called? Magnetic cap to it, but the cap's really cheap. But either way, it's totally good. Um, it's supposed to be a Creed Aventus clone, I believe, but it's, it's not. It's one of those people who like pineapple and they wanted a Creed Aventus with pineapple. Well, this one is kind of like Creed Aventus mixed with an overhaul of grilled pineapple rings. Super juicy, super fruity. It is pineapple rings if you grilled them and super juicy. Think about grilled pineapple rings and that's exactly what you get for the first like two hours of this fragrance mixed together with this ambery undertone, that maturity that you get from the Creed Aventus style fragrance with the woods and the ambergris, mix that all together. You have a little bit of musk underneath it, but yeah, it is really, really good. Um, when you get to the dry down, you have that cedar mixed together with this like ambery saffron, which the saffron provides just a, it's not really a prominent note. It's just a little undertone of this sweet and spiciness mixed together with this ambery undertone and some cedar. And that is really what you get in the dry down. Once that pineapple ring basis goes away, it's more of this amber woods. It's a warm and clean woods mixed together with that amber and a slight sweet and spicy saffron. But that is K at Alfresan and it is fantastic for the price. Legit, I could see that being 60 to 80 bucks and nobody would bat an eye because it's that good. It really is that good. It's very easy to wear during the day or during the night. Really nice, super juicy, great. Now going into the one that is 100% a daytime fragrance and 100% probably my favorite summertime clone in my, in my collection. And yes, the chain's broken, don't talk to me about it. It is Club de Nuit Milestone. This has always been my favorite clone in my collection. And now that I actually own Melissa May Imperial by Creed, I actually wear this instead because I don't want to waste the fluid from it. But Club de Nuit Milestone is fantastic. Melissa May Imperial is the literally what you would think of when you think of summer at the beach. It is that salted melon. It's marine. It's aquatic. It's woody. Well, this one, it substitutes that melon note for this kind of red fruit and a couple other things mixed together and it kind of comes off like a melon like a salted melon this is one of the most realistic clones that i have ever smelled of a fragrance it smells so close to melissa may imperial while still having a small twist if i had to give a fragrance that was a clone a 95% closeness, this would probably be it. So if you guys are trying to save money on any fragrance and on your list of pickups is Melissa May Imperial and you haven't tried this one out yet, Club de Nuit Milestone is legit. I mean, it's legitness. It's legitness. So like I thought, the power went out because of the storm. So we were talking about Club de Nuit Milestone. Pretty much got through it. It lasts about two hours longer than the original one. It's very realistic. One of the best summertime clones out there. If you want to try it, it's absolutely fantastic. Definitely recommend it. I'm going to get my hands on some more clones. Hopefully we get some bangers in there. I had a couple more that I wanted to mention, but I haven't even done first impressions of them yet. So yeah, again, that is Club Dating Nui Milestone. All of those are great choices, day or night. Um, but thank you guys so much. Let me know which ones that you like. And again, I'll be back with another one. Thanks so much. Peace out.